The first crown braid we're going to show you is this classic Dutch crown braid. Start by making a deep side part and then pick up a section of hair near the part and split it into three equal sections. Cross the upper strand under and into the middle and cross the bottom strand under and into the middle. Add in loose hair from above the braid to the upper strand before crossing it under and into the middle as well. And then add in loose hair to the bottom strand before crossing it under and into the middle. Continue to braid like this while you angle the braid around the head. If you want to, you can tug on the edges of the braid for added volume. Once the braid reaches the opposite ear, you want to make sure to add in all the remaining loose hair. Continue to braid normally while still angling the braid around the head. Secure the braid with a small clear elastic once it's done. Lay the loose braid across the front of the top of the head alongside the beginning of the braid and pin it down with bobby pins. Tuck and hide the ends of the braid behind the Dutch braid. The second crown braid we're going to show you is this double Dutch fishtail crown braid. Pick up a section of hair near the part and split it into two equal sections. Break off a small piece of hair from the upper section and cross it under and add it to the inside of the bottom section. Break off a small piece of hair from the bottom section and cross it under and add it to the inside of the upper section. Again, break off a small piece of hair from the upper section, add in some loose hair from above the braid before crossing it under and adding it to the bottom section. Repeat this with the bottom section. Break off a small piece of hair from the bottom section, add in some loose hair from below the braid before crossing it under and adding it to the upper section. Continue to braid like this while you angle the braid around the hat. If you want to, you can tug on the edges of the braid for added volume. Once the braid reaches a little past the ear on the back of the head, you want to stop adding in loose hair and continue to braid all the way down. Secure the braid with an elastic once it's done. Pick up a small section of hair from right beside and behind the end of the first braid and braid the same as we did before so that we have two Dutch fishtail braids in total. You want to angle the braid upwards and around the hat.
Once the braid reaches a little past the ear, you want to make sure to add in all the remaining loose hair. Braid normally until you run out of hair and then tie the braid off with a small clear elastic. Grab the first braid at the back and lay it alongside the second braid and pin it down with bobby pins. Grab the second braid and lay it on top of the beginning of the first braid and pin it in place with bobby pins. Hide the ends behind the first braid and pin it in place with bobby pins as well. The third and final crown braid we're going to share with you is this easy milkmaid braid. Pick up a large section of hair from the top of the back of the head, twist it slightly, push it up to create volume and then pin it in place with a couple of bobby pins. Split the hair into two equal sections at the nape of the neck. Split the left hand section into three equal sections and braid a normal three strand braid that you angle towards the right. Secure the braid with a small clear elastic once it's done. Grab the re remaining loose hair and braid another 3 strand braid that you angle towards the left. Secure the braid with an elastic once it's done. Lay one of the braids across the top of the head and pin it in place with bobby pins. Lay the other braid across the top of the head alongside the first one and hide the ends of both braids behind the other braid and pin it in place with bobby pins. 